What's up, YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin. And I did want to do, a, I would guess I would say impressions on the Battlefield um, Hardline beta. Um, as you well know, the, the beta ended yesterday on February 8th. Um, it was from February 3rd to February 8th where, um, you know, you can you can get online. It was open beta, so and there was there were quite a few people on. I believe they said it hit um, somewhere around five million um, players on, on the beta, which was you know they were touting was more than Destiny. Whatever, that's besides the point. Um, I, I kind of want to give my impressions on what I thought of the beta, um, and will it you know based on that beta. Will it be worth a you know a sixty dollar purchase and whatever DLC comes out? Um, first off, you know there were three modes: um, heist, it was heist, conquest, and hotwire. Heist as you know, is exactly what the name says. Um, it, it, it's the one mode that they always touted in the trailers. You know, even when they talked about it last last year's E3, you know, heist was the thing they talked about. So, you know, you know that's probably going to going to be the most played game mode. Um Hotwire it, it's, it's similar to Conquest. Um it, it takes place it's a bunch of high speed chases. Um they're trying to steal marked cars and you know that's something new to the whole Battlefield series is on you know a mode like that. There were three different maps. Um, on the heist game mode, it was a uh, bank job. It was a bank job map. On uh, hotwire, on the hotwire mode, there were two maps: uh, downtown and dust bowl. And on uh, conquest, which everyone knows what conquest is, don't even need to explain that. It was the dust bowl map, which um, is a pretty large map. It's small in size in comparison to you know how Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 was or hell Battlefield 2, um some of the larger conquest maps which were enormous Caspian border on um Battlefield 3 um what I feel about the I mainly played conquest to be honest. Um I played some heist, uh, I played hotwire. Heist I think you know it's, it's okay. Um, you know, it's it's a different take on you know the things that have been done in Battlefield. You really haven't had, you know, because the whole game is about cops versus uh, criminals, and you know the heist thing is the you know that was the first mode I played. It was the mode I'm pretty sure a lot of people jumped on first, seeing it. You know, that was the thing they always talked about. They didn't talk about any any of the other modes. That was the main mode they talked about, and I say it's okay. Um. I, let me get into things I do like about the game. Um, things I do like about the game. I think the beta beta was in uh, decent um, in terms of stability and you know things like that. We were able to connect to games. Although I did have one day where I wasn't able to connect to games, but I'm not sure if they were they were doing maintenance or whatever. But outside of that, I was able to connect the games. Um, definitely, um, you know, the game should release in a better state in Battlefield Four. If you don't know how, you know the horrendous launch that that game had so I, I would I would say um, it you know in terms of stability in terms of connection in terms of hit detection I think it's I think it's uh, I think it was pretty good um, the heist map like I said it, you know the heist game mode, I, I think is okay I think that's um, decent hot wired like I said I didn't play much of that but I like the premise of that game mode so I think the you know the modes oh you know are decent you know there there are some other modes that's gonna be out in the full game. Here's the bad thing. Here's what I don't like, and it's something that uh I don't think is gonna actually get changed, because honestly it's something that you know the, the game comes out. What's the date of the release of the game? The the game comes out very soon, so. It, it won't be um it won't be much change to you know the actual you know, mainly they're trying to get out all the bugs um trying to get servers stable and whatnot so it's it's mainly for that not not necessarily uh also balancing not necessarily changing actual gameplay now I don't know what kind of destructible environments yeah you know, I played it on Xbox One destructible environments were not to me. 
it you know you, you could tell it wasn't done by dice destructible environments weren't you know it, it couldn't topple entire like oh, excuse me it couldn't topple entire buildings um a lot of it felt like uh in a sense to how some of the you know the buildings in call of duty were it, it it might as well be steel. Everything might as well be steel. And you know, you shoot a grenade. Guys hide behind the wall. Doesn't do anything. Now there are, there are certain structures that you can break down, but in comparison to the previous titles, it it just didn't feel like the destruction that you could cause in those games transferred over to this game. Now, like I said, you can't. There are some structures that you can can still destroy, but uh, this didn't. F- it, no, I didn't really like that. Um, another thing is, uh, in terms of graphics, I mean, I know it's not too far off from the release of Battlefield 4, but I actually think it takes a step back in the graphics department. Even f- for the Xbox One version, um, I've seen the PC version. It's still, to me, it's either it either takes a step back or it's not really a big improvement. You know, like I said, it's done by a different team, and it's not not too far off from the Battlefield 4. Um, and you know, not too far off from the Battlefield 4 release, which Battlefield 4 came out uh, last year. So, seeing that, that, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's worth sixty dollars in my opinion. And you know, they're gonna slap the premium on there. Uh, Premium is probably somewhere between $40, $40, $50, who knows. And seeing that they had so many people play the beta. And, you know, a big reason why a lot of people played it was open beta. It was free. I mean, why are you not going to play a free beta? Especially if you're a fan of first-person shooters or, you know, you were slightly intrigued about the game itself. Why Why would you not download it? So... I, it, it's understandable why so many people played it. I, would, I still was surprised that so many people played it, but it was Battlefield. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Battlefield. It's still a big AAA, um, I would say name. It, it could, to me, it's not going to be a big AAA title. It may sell a lot. I'm pretty sure it will sell a lot. But in my honest opinion, I don't think it's worth that $60. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel like a big step up from, you know, Battlefield 4, when Battlefield 4 had its problems launched. And it wasn't necessarily the gameplay for Battlefield 4. It just had a horrible launch with you know, so many other fixable problems. Um, but, you know, like I said, a good thing, I think the game's going to come out more stable than, you know, it's going to come out in a better state than how Battlefield 4 was. Hopefully. You know, we don't, we don't know what's going to happen with the other, you know, they got the other modes and whatnot. We don't know how those are gonna function. You know, they got other maps. Maybe they have some better maps. But you know, playing on conquest, I think they should have had at least two maps on the conquest mode because it got boring playing that same map. Um, it was the Dust Bowl. It got boring playing that map. But anyways, that that's pretty much my opinion. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Are you gonna pick up Battlefield Four? Mm, Battlefield Hardline. I apologize. Are you gonna pick up Battlefield Hardline? If, if you played the beta, what do you think about the beta? Um, is it worth your sixty dollars and sixty dollars plus? Because you know they're gonna slap DLC on it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Of course, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.